Town. We're at Summer Nam 2011 in Nashville, and we're at the Pigtronics booth, and I'm here with Jer. And uh, they've got a whole lineup of different pedals here, and he's going to do a little playing and uh, talk about some of his different pedals. First up in the chain is uh, our best seller, the Philosopher's Tone. It's a endless, clean, sustained pedal. <laughs> Thing will sustain for days. It's really popular with lazy lead guitar players. Also has onboard grit control so you can dial in built-in distortion. The Philosopher King is the big brother to the Philosopher's Tone and it takes the same sustained characteristics and adds volume, swell, and fade. Swell side is great. The other side of the pedal is a fade, and we added auto reset mode. So every time that the fade shuts down, it reopens, and you can get a stutter effect. Up next is the envelope phaser. Our first pedal was the EP1, this is the EP2. And what we did is completely re-engineer the pedal from the ground up. <clears throat> One side of the pedal is a very funky Mutron type sound. <clears throat> the other side of the pedal is an LFO mode, which is almost like a Uni-V Hendrix vibe. And it was really popular when it came out and the biggest question that everyone asked us was, why can't you use both modes at the same time? So we added a blend switch that turns on both the EF and the LFO mode, so you get that touch responsiveness with the rotary type sound. Very, very musical pedal. Really, really popular on bass. It's just very full range. Um, my favorite of all these is the Echolution. It's a dual delay. One side is a standard tap tempo, the other is a manually set mod delay that adds tremolo and chorus on the repeats. One of the funnest things about this pedal is uh, the multi-tap switches that allow you to create polyrhythmic delays synced to your global delay time. So it's like having six tape heads synced together. It's a nice warm tremolo y mod delay. Um, our easiest pedal to demo is a Class A boost. Our newest pedal as well. It's uh, up to 20 decibels of boost. It's a JFET booster, and it's just your tone, but louder. Um, the Keymaster is basically the producer guitar player's pedal. It's a dual effects loop. It takes XLR, 
unbalanced or balanced quarter inch in and allows you to switch two effects loops in series or parallel. Um, allows for a variety of routing options. Currently we have it set up to show a crossfade between a dry signal and the delay signal. The echo is the only thing in the chain. So with a standard expression pedal, you can go from dry to your full delay signal and blend anywhere you want. Slowly, yeah, slowly fading in the echolution uh, and some select parts and then being able to cut it out completely when you want. Um, okay. And then the last part I'll show you real quick is the tremolo, which is an envelope controlled tremolo. It's one side of the pedal is your standard set it and forget it. It's regular tremolo. The other side of the pedal, when you engage the envelope mode, it reads the loudness of your playing and you can adjust the speed and depth to change based on your playing dynamics. So you'll hit a chord and it will speed up or slow down or get shallower or deeper as you go. So. Creates a variety of uh, almost Leslie type sounds when the speed ramps up and slows down. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And uh, this is a Which small is your newest, uh, The newest uh, pedal noise? is the Class A Boost. The Class A Boost? Um, and just came out, just launched at the NAMM show this year. And uh, we're really, really excited about that one. It's. It's not even at 12 o'clock yet, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it's great right. for uh, you know all the people out there who don't have the reliable sound man that hope that they'll hear that you're about to take a solo and be there at the board. Drummer's so. getting too loud. All right, <laughs> exactly, man. exactly. Well, thanks, Jerry. Cool, well, thank you so much. Yeah, have a good show.